is Rad Gyal. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful intro. I just wanted to show you guys one of my favorite websites. I love this website. Oh my gosh. This website right here. Let me say it just one more time. This website right here, guys. You can watch live TV streams on it. If you don't know about Channel Pair, you're going to get to know it with me today. And what I love about Channel Pair is that it works with your Roku, it works with your Fire Stick, it works with Plex, it works with Chromecast. So this website is perfect. Said you have the option. Well, you don't have the option. You have to sign up for an account. And when you sign up for your account, you have a free option or let's get to the premium. I'm going to select it because I want you guys to know what it is that you're getting into. You can have unlimited access for $2.99 per month or $7.99 every three months or $14.99 every six months or you can pay $24.99 every year. Me, I have a free account. I don't pay for nothing. I pay zip zero. And with my free account, I am able to only add five channels at a time. When you decide to pay, you can add as many channels as you want. So one of these monthly arrangements might be an option for you guys. For me, it is not because you guys already know I am cheap. <laughs> so with that said, you guys can choose what it is that you want to do. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the content available on the website. So we're going to go to Media Database and we're going to select Most Popular. Guys, I kid you not, they have the most wonderful channels here. And I'm not going to front. Sometimes some channels don't work, but they're always fixing this channel. They're always fixing this website. So I just love it. I'm very grateful for Channel Pair. Okay, so they have 24-hour channels. They have HBO, Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, Cinemax, AMC. Oh, wait, did I mention they have HBO? <laughs> TNT, Sci-Fi. Oh, they just added Showtime. The Discovery Channel, FX. I'm just going to show you guys. Guys, they have tons of channels. And they also have 24-hour streams of your favorite show. Like this channel right here, 24 Hours of Seinfeld. Who doesn't love Jerry Kramer and George and the gang? I do. <laughs> All right. Uh, Spike TV, bravo for the ladies. <laughs> oh, and they have Lifetime, I believe. Did I pass that? You guys already know my fixation with Lifetime. They have it on every app every channel and it is always working and see and we're just going to go to the third page that to be the last of the library that i will show you because guys there's literally 38 pages plus and you guys can figure out what it is that you want they have free form bbc4 they have international channels for all of my people in uk hallmark Al Jazeera. I love Al Jazeera. Four more PBS, Comedy Central, and so on, just to give you guys an idea. Now, let's say, right, if you have um, a Roku, which is what I have. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go back to Media Database. I don't want to confuse you guys. Okay. Let's say if you have a Roku. This is what I have. You guys already know this. You are going to have to add these channels on the website right here. I'm going to show you how to do that before you can add it to your Roku device. So there's a pairing method that has to be done. The website has to be paired with your Roku. That is how you are able to stream it. That's why they want you to create a free account or a paid account. You guys get it? You get the correlation? All right. Good. Good job. So I'm going to show you. So let's say... You want to add ESPN. Okay. What I like to do is check the comments to see if the channels are working. See, they have seven, seven pluses. Green, green is good. So that means that the channel is working. Okay. 
And once you realize that the channel is working, you're going to click Add to Library. I'm not going to add it to my library because my library is full. Okay. Okay, so once you select Add to Library, you're going to click on your library, guys. And the channel that you have just added, it will appear. If you have the unlimited account, you can add as many channels as you want. Like I said, guys, I have the free account, so I'm only able to add five free channels as well as add these five free channels on two different devices. So right now we're on my Mac. The second device that I have is my Roku. So that's it. I'm tapped out. I can't do anymore. But hey, I am humble. I can stay at five free channels, two devices. I'm good. I don't have to pay. So these channels are on my, my channel pair account, right? So we're going to pause it right here. We're going to pick up on the Roku because I want to show you guys how it is on the Roku. Because unfortunately, today, I don't know if there's an issue with the site. I can show you this right now because Rag Girl keeps it real. Okay, we're going to select play. For some reason, the media source is not working. I don't know what is going on with the site. However, I can guarantee you it is working on your Roku, your Amazon Fire Stick, whatever device you have. Okay, so I have added all these channels. Again, I'm going to go back to show you how to add channels, sorry. I'm going to go to Media Database. <laughs> I like to select Most Popular. And let's say I want to add TNT. You're going to click on the channel. And like I said, guys, I, I like to look at the comments to see exactly what is going on with the channels, if they're working, what people are saying. Okay. So you're going to select Add Channel. And then from there to find the channel, you're going to go to Library. I haven't added this channel. This is just an example, guys. And the channel that you have just added, it will pop up here. Now, if you have the free account, I'm just repeating it because I know you guys are going to ask me in the comments. If you have the free account, you're, you're only able to add five channels on two different devices. And one of the devices, your computer counts as a device. It is included. So that means you have another option, either a Roku or Amazon Fire Stick, whatever it is that you want to add. All right, guys, so we're going to pick up on the Roku. I'm going to give you the channel code for channel pair because this is a private Roku channel that you have to add. And if you guys don't know how to add private Roku channels, check out the link in my description box titled How to Add a Private Roku Channel. That will help you guys out. Also, below in my description box, I will put the channel code for channel pair. So we're going to pick up on my Roku, showing you guys how to set it up. See you soon. All right, guys, we are on the Roku. And sorry, guys, I have to use my phone. So bear with me. Okay, so we are on the channel pair app. And look at all the channels that I have added. They are on here. So let's go. Let's check out Showtime. We're going to do it really quickly. Oh, what is this? Live, shameless. It works. All right, let's check out Sci Fi. What is this? Sci Fi working. Mm hmm. Live, people. Live. I kid you not. Let's check out AMC. What? It's working. And the last channel that I added is FX. We're going to check FX. Works. All right. And the last one is Cinemax. And it is working perfectly. I just backed out of the app. 
All right, guys. So, again, I want you guys to check out all of the information in my description box below. And remember, in order for this channel to work on your Roku, you have to sign up and make an account online. And then from there, you will go and add the private channel to your Roku store. The channel code is in the description box below. And this has been Rad Girl. Peace out. And don't forget to like my video, subscribe, share it with a friend. Knowledge is power. Peace out.